Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So in this video, I'm going to teach you how to make great codes in PowerPoint. And as you can see right now, I'm currently inside PowerPoint with the sample code that I've just made from earlier. Now I'm going to teach you how to create this one step by step. Before we get started right here, if you're watching this with your MacBook or iOS devices, please stay in the video because the process is literally the same. And another disclaimer for you guys, the quality of your work here may it be like this quality or your greater. It all depends by your own perspective and skill set. So the only limit here would be your imagination. I'm just going to show you the ropes here, give you a few um, how to use the features and how to use the tools and the basic knowledge here to get you started. So let's get started right here. I'm just going to create a new slide or rather click a new slide right there to go from a blank one. Let me just delete the text boxes. So let's get started right here. The first thing I want to do is, of course, format the background. So right click, format, and then choose on gradient fill. Gradient fill is the much more rare choice in regarding with the coloration. It's much more pleasing to the eyes. Change the color. So since earlier is blue, let's go with yellow right now. Choose yellow right there. This, this one may be good. Now with this one, let's add a shape. So on the sections above, choose insert. And then right here, you'll see shapes. Make sure you choose on shape. And then a little tip for you guys. Don't just hover your mouse, hold your left click, and then just do anything or drag the circle. It will not be the same size. So a little tip for you, if you're adding a circle or shape, make sure you hold the shift button. If you hold the shift button, it will be a perfect circle. And then the size will be by your own discretion. So for example, this one's good for me, and I'm good with this one. So how can I insert a photo there? First, we need to make it as a frame. So with this one being said, make sure this is going to be with no outline. So to remove the outline, make sure you're in this proper home section and choose outline right there. Remove the outline and then just choose the color of your fill. For example, since earlier is around pitch, I think I'm going to go with green now. How about this one right here? Seems good to go. Now I'm going to get the photo. Simply add insert right there. Choose pictures. Click on device. So this is going to be Martin Luther King. This is going to be by your own preference. You can add any photo, okay? So as you can see right now, this photo is on square. Our photo there is circle. How to add this properly? Make sure you highlight your photo first. And then right click. Click on format picture. And you'll see this options from above picture format make sure you click on crop and then crop to shape and that being said make sure you choose on circle for this one if you just circle you'll see that part right there has become to a circle but not much if you want to adjust a little bit more make sure you choose crop again aspect ratio one is to one and you'll see this option that you can play around with so you can just increase the size to make sure your photo is inside the circle and that being said, if you're satisfied with that one, make sure you just drag it to the circle. Easy as that. Now that being said, we need to make this a little black or white. Again, if you're satisfied with color, I'm not going to stop you. I'm just saying that for me, I'd rather have it on black and white to give it a little bit more um, action or impact. And that being said, actually this is good enough. Let's move on with the code itself. To insert the code, make sure you click on insert right there. And click on the text box icon this one right here make sure you create a text box from here and now just type in whatever you want so for example i'm just going to type in a sample code for martin luther king easy as that i think i misspelled the code here perfect now that being said i can just simply edit the text right here again guys this is by your own discretion this is design or skill set will be by a limit of your own imagination. So make sure you highlight it and then edit it as you please. I'm just gonna go through some examples here. Increasing the font size right there and then making it in bold letters, make sure you click on B over there. The adjustment for the lining will be here. And by the way guys, with this one being said, I can just edit it as I please. I'm just gonna, for example, I'm gonna highlight the Martin over there. I'm gonna put it on red. And Luther King, I'm going to put it on color blue. Now, for example, this one, this is not good enough just yet. I can add another one, for example, insert. 
text box and this is the quotation logo. Now it's a little bit more, or rather it's a little bit small. How to increase the size, of course, make sure you highlight it first. This one right there. And then basically increase the size from here. As you can see over there, it's increasing as we see so. So don't stop yourself on changing the font type because this is not a letter, right? You can change the font type as you please also, even though it's a special character. So as you can see right there, I've just changed it to a different font style. Now, another one for you, don't forget, of course, is that the name of the uh, man itself, Martin Luther King, or let's say Mr. King over here. Let's just put it as it is, and then make sure this is on italic. Because... Um, a lot of people use this one as an italic because it's just a name or a reminder who said it. So technically right now, we've just created the code. It's actually a good one, especially the format and how to do this. This is very important right here. The text box is much more simpler. This is going to be by your own preference. So let's make another one just for discussion purposes. So I'm just going to click on duplicate slide. How about we duplicate the first one right there? Duplicate slide. I'm just going to de delete Gandhi. And then for now, I'm going to create a different shape. So again, I'm going to insert shape, click on shapes, and I'm going to look for a trapezoid. This one right here. Again, guys, shape, shift, button, hold. Make sure you hold it right there. Now, don't be um, nervous because if this is a different shape, you might ask that, is this going to be a different process? The answer is no. Same process again. Make sure you remove the outline. No outline right there. And choose a fill. Let's go with orange right now. How about for now, let's go with green again. This one right here. Same thing, add a photo, insert. Choose a photo of your own choosing. I'm going to choose Gandhi again. Okay, almost forgot. We need to format it first. Right click, format picture. Make sure you choose crop. Crop to shape. Again, for this one, do not choose circle as the one earlier. For this one, we're going to choose the size or rather the parallelogram or basic shape we chose from earlier. Make sure you click on that one. If it's not properly fit yet, if you're satisfied, you can add a little bit more. Make sure you choose a crop. Aspect ratio 1 is to 1, and you can play around as you see fit. If you're satisfied with this one, simply place Gandhi inside the photo. Perfect. And that being said, if you want to, again, black and white Gandhi, make sure you right-click, format picture, and you'll see this option right there. Make sure saturation is low, temperature is high and you're good to go now for the last part of this video let's add some transitions to make it more appealing to make it more professional looking i want you to focus your attention to the section above and then mainly look for transitions right here just in between designs and animations click on it and you'll have a lots of preset templates right there so just choose one i'm just gonna choose this push up right there and make sure everything is set for push up now that being said, I already enabled each F never one with a specific transition. Now don't limit yourself here. It doesn't mean that the first one is pushed. The second one should be also be pushed. You can use the second one for, for example, on cover. Totally up to you guys. Have your fun with this one. Adjust the time duration over here to make it more longer on each slide. For example, everything is one second. Perfectly it's good to go. Now to view it, you can simply click on this button right here or just click on F5. As you can see, start from beginning, F5. Let's try it out. So you saw this transition right there, and make sure you click on the arrow button to proceed with this one. And basically that's it. You've just created a very good code on PowerPoint. So thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.